Hello everyone. You are all welcome to lecture number 603. And today's topic is health and nutrition benefits of potatoes. And today I will be discussing the nutritional and health benefit of potato. Uh, potato is known as one of the best friend of our stomach. It is very friendly to our stomach in the sense that uh, it is rich in nutrients and once we are eating potato we will feel full. It will give the fullness of our stomach and that's why we call it it is very good friend of our stomach and it is a complete food. It is rich in mineral, antioxidants, starch and one of the best stars because the starch of potato is free of lutein. That's why those people who are allergic or sensitive to lutein, uh, for them there is no problem of consuming the potato. Uh, globally potato is used in different form, somewhere as a french fry, somewhere as a potato chip and fish like in Europe, French fried like in uh, France and in Nigeria, the morning breakfast that is our potato chip and omelette. In India, all vegetables without potato it is incomplete, means uh, aloo gobi, potato and cauliflower, aloo tomatoes, aloo peas, mutter, I mean they are all meals there must be the combination of potato with any other type of peas or green vegetable. But the history is very interesting for potato. The history goes like that, that in uh, Europe, especially in uh, Spain, they call potato, some few hundred years ago, uh, edible rock. They call potato what? Edible rock. It was known as edible lark and potato was not uh, received well in Europe and even in France, in Germany. But later on in Germany, they started using it as a uh, livestock food for animals. It was not uh, used for a human being and also they had the false impression about the potato, that potato is the carrier of plague virus and they believed that those who are eating potato, sometimes they may get the virus and with that virus they may get uh, polio. But later on after 40-50 years time, slowly when the chemistry was advanced and when the phytochemist they isolated and identified very, very important uh, phytochemicals in potato. Then they accepted it and the humble potato was respectable. And then globally we started using as a food. And nowadays in Russia, they boil and steam potato with skin. It's a stable food. In India also, uh, we are making different variety of uh, food dishes with potato in Nigeria in every uh, country. It is no more edible lark, but rather than it is uh, a very good vegetable on your our dining table. Potato is uh, of two types. One is slightly yellowish in color. That is called Irish potato and in uh, North Nigeria, especially in Maiduguri, I think they call it Dunkelin or Dunkelin Bhature because Dunkelin they call it to sweet potato as well as to potato. But they add the word Dunkelin Bhature means it is Irish potato if I am not uh, wrong. And it, the second potato is that it is having some little pinkish color uh, skin and that pinkish color skin is more rich in anthocyanin and flavonoid that is antioxidant 
That's why the pinkish color potato with his skin is more healthful as compared to slightly yellowish uh, Irish uh, potato. So, potato is very rich in uh, antioxidants I have already given like gallic acid, pyloric acid and beta uh, carotene, alpha and beta carotene, but that is in little bit small quantity. So the structures were given and uh, now the percentage and content of mineral and vitamin I am discussing here. Uh, the botanical name of potato is Solanum tuberosum lin and uh, it belongs to family Solanaceae. Uh, number one, it is root vegetable. Actually they call it root vegetable because in the form of tuber, a uh, lot of uh, food material is uh, uh, is stored but it has a capability of uh, nodes so that it can uh, grow so strictly speaking it can be also under root stem because it grows under root I mean under uh, soil so it is considered as it is root vegetable and is stable food in many countries like Russia and some other European countries including India and Indian subcontinent even in Africa so nowadays, uh, uh, it is a staple food, but I have already given you the history, bad history of potato when it was known as uh, edible rock and it was given only to animals. But later on, when the chemists did analysis and a lot of nutrients were identified, then it became the food for hunger. Stomach friendly food means people are eating feel fullness and uh, number two it contains uh, following vitamins and minerals if we are taking 173 gram uh, I mean it is one cup of uh, smashed uh, potato including with skin then it will contain 161 calories fat will be 0 0.2 gram protein will be 4.3 gram carbohydrate will be 36.6 gram Fiber 3.8 gram, vitamin C will be 28 percent of RDI, I mean uh, required daily allowance, and then vitamin B6 27 percent of RDI, magnesium 12 percent of RDI, phosphorus 12 percent of RDI, potassium 26 percent of RDI, and folate 12 percent of RDI. Antioxidants, I have already given the structures of all those antioxidants and it is rich in antioxidants, uh, it is rich in antioxidants and they are lutein, zeaxanthin, violotexin and all these groups, they are all alpha and beta carotenoid, but they are in small quantity. The uh, last quantity antioxidants are cinnamic acid, uh, phenolic acid, gallic acid and uh, protocate acid. So, gallic acid, uh, cinnamic acid and protocateic acid, I have given the structure. They are actually in good quantity in potato. That's why potato is also acting as good antioxidant means it can reduce the uh, oxidative stress and it can neutralize the free radicals uh, which are the main cause of our aging and different type of diseases mainly cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's, etc. Uh, number four, may contain blood sugar. It can maintain blood sugar uh, because starch of potato is not easily broken down. It is a complex uh, carbohydrate. So the, to, uh, to break down into glucose, it takes a lot of time, very slow. Uh, breaking down is there into uh, glucose molecule and that's why it is having uh, not very high glycemic index that's why it can maintain our blood sugar and also it is resistant to insulin and it is good for our gut bacteria because it is gut friendly uh, it starts because it stays for a longer time so that gut bacteria can be healthy and number five, it can improve digestion. I have already told you that 
potato is the best friend of stomach and because starch is short chain and that short chain fatty acid is called butyrate acid and this butyrate acid this type of short carbon chain starch is a very good starch and can reduce it can reduce the inflammation so butyrate acid which is present in carbon short chain uh, starch can reduce the inflammation of our body so it is also acting as anti inflammatory and then number 6 it is uh, gluten free starch as the popularity of uh, potato starch goes to gluten uh, free because some people are gluten uh, sensitive or allergic and uh, like in wheat and other cereal a uh, lot of gluten is there it's not gluten free but potato starch is completely gluten free that's why it is one of the best starch and it is free for everybody even those who are sensitive to gluten they can also take that's why it is more popular as compared to uh, wheat and rice starch and it is very popular nowadays because of gluten sensitivity and number 7 it is incredibly filling incredibly filling means once you take potato you will feel full your stomach is full and uh, potatoes are the most filling food and they increase the level of a uh, fullness hormone and the fullness hormone the name is uh, colocytokine that is called cck so this one is uh, i mean rich in cck that is a uh, fullness hormone so if we take potato it is a complete food for all of us no more uh, it will rock so with this i will stop but uh, you go on eating uh, potato it is full of nutrients as a vegetable thank you very much for watching the lecture